guys, what's going on? FY my pawn here, and welcome back to Torchlight 2. Since we last left off, if I do recall correctly, we... Hmm, I do believe we went and dealt with a bone dragon of sorts, and we managed to get the power source that was necessary to follow the alchemist. In addition to that, we also defeated another dragon of sorts that was hiding away where we managed to obtain a specialized treasure. And from there, I do believe we start to make our way over to the next quest. For this stream, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be dealing with around... I'm not sure if they're witches or sisters. I just know that the uh, musical bot that we saved had mentioned that they were a problem. So we're going to be dealing with them. In addition to that, if we have time, we're probably going to start trying to finish the game. But that depends wholly how long we have left, but I digress. I hope you guys enjoy, and without further ado, let's get into things and see what happens. So far, we are really raking in the levels. We're at up to level 51, surprisingly enough, so that's going to be fun. But yeah, no, we are currently uh, reaching the peak of uh, our stuff here. And yeah, we just have to basically continue on. Uh, it's looking like we got a few items already. It's going to be interesting. Uh, can we wear anything? Uh, these breeches are not something we can wear. Uh, I might swap over to these. I'm tempted to. But I shouldn't need to. Uh, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. But yeah, no, the Ring of the Dungeon is definitely going to be a godsend for us, but I digress. So yeah, we're going to go into here, and we're just going to get ready for the fight, I suppose. No real reason to hesitate. Alright, nine, eight... And yeah, let's start clearing out the enemies. Barrier up just to be safe. Some of our unit. Okay, there's a lot of uh, spiders here. Shouldn't be too difficult to deal with. But yeah, a lot of small enemies here, but honestly, could be way worse. Alright, so far so good. No danger, or excessive danger, that I've uh, ran into so far. Bunch of spiders, though, which is concerning. But hey. That is to be expected. If you uh, dislike arachnophobia, I guess you want to avoid this stream. Or at least the first bits of it, so... I apologize for those people who uh, suffer from arachnophobia, but... I mean, it's, it's a cartoon game. People... It, it's going to be there. It happens. But I digress. From here, let's just explore around and see what we find. A bundle of gold, nothing too crazy. Okay, I guess we're gonna go north to start with, because I'm probably gonna go that route. Barrier up, just to be safe. Yeah, these, these guys get stunned really quick, so that's good. And we're actually getting quite a bit of gold. Uh, actually, if I check my... Uh, I check my statistics. I do believe I have a significant gold value increase. Uh, where is it? It should be in miscellaneous bonuses. Yeah, I got a gold drop bonus of 21% and a luck bonus of 17. So I'm definitely going to get higher quality gear just by hanging around here. Oh, hello. That's one of the sisters, I suppose. <laughs> Let's just quickly... Oh. Barrier up. Uh, interesting. Go 
Okay. Yeah, I guess we're just fighting the sister here. The sister of corruption. Let's bury her up just to be safe again. I think I can get away with a higher uh, quality burst now. Oh, ow. Yeah, I just gotta be careful of uh, the attacks. But other than that, I should be fine. Okay, so far so good. We're slowly just whittling them down. There goes my turret, but that's fine. There we go, that's one of the three sisters dealt with. Alright. That's one of the three. Uh, now we can go over to try and deal with the other two, which are probably roaming around. Shouldn't be too hard to deal with, as far as I'm aware. But I guess we will see. I think the noise is okay. Because uh, as of recently, I've discovered that, uh, that the noise might be a bit too much for you guys. Uh, it's relatively quiet on my end, so I'm not sure if I can compare. It's one of those things that you sort of have to hot shoot for uh, hot fix as you go on. But yeah, no, I think the sound is fine. Worst case, you know, I'll have to fix it, but... Oh god, another sister. Wasn't expecting one so soon. Okay, let's uh, summon a turret here. Okay, let's just... Barrier. Okay. There we go. Ideally, I want to provoke her to attack. Okay, there we go. There you're up. Summon other turrets. We just spam, there we go. Now we continue to barrage, there we go. So far so good. Here we go, that's the second sister dealt with. Out of the three. And now we just gotta find the third sister, which should probably be over here, I think. But I cannot guarantee that, so I'm just going to explore around here on the side and see if there's anything I find. Probably not going to find anything, but you never know. Yeah, as I figured. So, yes, the third area is the center point. Okay. Let's deal with these spiders. There we go. Alright, the last one is over here. Supposedly. Or at least I think it is. Grab the gold. And the third sister is right here. As predicted. Okay, let's summon the turrets. Let's take a moment to gather some mana. That way we can summon a golem. Here we go. Okay, barrier up. Okay, there goes the barrier. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, barrier up once again. Okay, 
Okay, we're just slowly cutting them. At least they're not as HP heavy as the other enemies as I've fought thus far. So it could be way worse, to be fair. But all the same, I guess this is like a uh, sub-dungeon even then. So it's not going to be that dangerous to begin with. Or at least I'm confident that it's not a dangerous dungeon. Yeah, no, that was pretty easy. That should be all the three sisters, I do believe. Now the question is, are they going to be uh, spawning again? I don't think they are. But I have beaten them. So I guess that's that? I don't think there's anything else in here. Oh, hello. Oh, there's more to this. Okay. Yeah, no, it was gonna feel a little awkward if there, that was just it. Alright, so in that case, it's probably a case of uh, I have to fight all three of them. Which makes a lot more sense. I'm not gonna lie. Yep. You have to fight all three. Oh god. This is gonna be hell. Oh god, yeah, no, their uh, attacks become a bit more worse. Oh god. Alright, barrier up. Okay, okay. Alright, well I was right to uh, get the defenses going. Jeez, okay. Yeah, here they come. Oh god, a barrage. Okay, yeah, no, they're all fighting together, so we have to be careful about that. Okay, yeah, no, the fight's a bit different than I had predicted. Barrier up. Oh, there goes my barrier again. Barrier up. Okay. Okay. Thankfully, the enemies aren't that bad to deal with, so I could. I can manage them. But good golly god. Alright, there we go. Barrier up just to be safe. Alright, so yeah, no, America's uh, is uh, the most dangerous of the sisters. Well, the most aggressive of the sisters, rather. She is going into melee the most. Her other sisters are not doing it as often, but okay. Let's barrier up. Oh, she heals the sisters. Okay. That's a concern. Okay, so yeah, no, if she's healing the sisters, this is gonna be a long fight. Oh god. Here we up. Hopefully it's not like a mass heal sister, and it's not like a uh, actual like. I'm just hoping it's not something akin to the heal version of well. A resurrect. Because that'd be really annoying. Okay. Let's get some more mana. There we go. Okay, let's barrier up. Okay. So far, so good. Oh god, okay, barrier up. Yeah, no, they're all ganging up, okay. Alright, back, back, back. 
Okay, America shot is getting really crazy here. Okay, we're gonna summon the golem. That's gonna give us some more damage to work with. Or at least an ally to work with, I should say. Oh god, this is gonna be hellish. <laughs> okay, barrier. Goodness knows we're gonna need it. Okay, let's cover some mana. Okay, thankfully it doesn't seem like the heals is gonna be a big problem here. Like, so far the heals haven't been that, you know, significant enough to notice. Okay, barrier. Okay, there we go. So far, so good. Yeah, no, the, uh... The sister that keeps chasing me with attacks is, uh... Doing as, uh... Expected. Oh god, okay. Move back, barrier up. Okay, where... Yeah, yeah, there you are. Okay, so you're starting to move. Thankfully, it seems like the uh, combat sister is doing as expected. Let's summon a turret. Okay. Move back before the bombs come at us. Oh god. Seal. Barrier. Alright. Teleporter is almost gone. Okay, barrier up. Okay. Okay, barrier. Alright, this is the next sister gone. Or at least the first sister gone. Alright, that's one. Uh, still not over yet, though. Because we still have to deal with both the healer and damage dealer. Uh, I guess... Yeah, no, it really depends on how we want to fight this, because, uh... I guess we'll deal with, uh, Alira here, because she's the next war sister to deal with. But thankfully, I can just go at a range here from now on. Because, uh, both of them are either going to be summoning or doing something else. Which is perfectly fine by me, because it just allows me the freedom of movement. So. Ow. Yeah, so it really depends on us how we want to handle this. Oh. Back up. Okay. Yeah, no, they're sometimes uh, attacking directly, which is interesting. Okay. I'll summon a turret now. Let's see, what are they gonna do? They are gonna... Okay. Okay, oh, back up. There we go. What are you gonna do? Okay. Yeah, I'm not a fan of these sisters, because they're more evasive. But whatever. That's fine. Apparently I got some mysterious boots here. That's gonna be nice to, uh, loot. Oh. Back up. Barrier. Okay. Okay. Some of the golem here. Gather some mana here. Barrier. Just to be safe. Okay, Alira is going. There we go. 
go. Barrier. Okay. Yeah, no, this is a lot of danger, huh? God. Okay, one sec. There we go. Up so that we can focus on the mirror right here. There we go. Let's barrier up. There we go. At least it's easy to deal with the summons. Like, it could have been way worse, to be fair. Barrier up. God, there's so much summoning. Barrier. Get some mana. Some of the bots. Or two, rather. Okay. Barrier. Okay, barrier. Okay, yeah, no, the uh, damage is coming in. Sort of just uh, pestering both of them at this point. I really should focus on uh, one at a time. And I'm probably going to focus on the healer here. Personal preference at that point, though. Well, I guess either one would work, really. Okay, back up. Barrier. Yeah, yeah, no, I need to focus on uh, Purple Girl here. Or Purple Sister, rather. Okay, back up. Barrier. Okay, let's summon a golem. Back up. Barrier. Yeah, Verona's being very, uh... Yeah, very evasive about the attacks. Oh, back up. Okay, barrier. There we go. Alright, so far so good. I'm actually dealing significant damage now. Okay, let's barrier up just to be safe. Actually, just setting up in a confined corner like this has actually helped quite a bit. Alright, there we go. Summon another golem. Oh, barrier up. There we go. Oh god, okay. Heal up. Barrier. Almost done. Alright, that's the second sister with a, a mysterious staff that we dealt with. Now we deal with the last one. Who is uh, the most aggressive of the lots. The damage dealer, if you will. Okay, we're gonna summon some bot here. Hello. Barrier. Are so good. Nope. Back up. Okay. 
Alright, just get some mana. Okay, so close. Alright, nice. So far, so good. Alright. Almost there. Okay, barrier up. Take a moment to get some distance, then we summon the turrets. Here we go. Now we can summon the golem, which will help us in the fight. Now we deal with Verona here. Take a moment to barrier up. Alright. Oh, that was close. Okay. Give some distance. Alright, barrier up. Okay, back off from the explosions. And there we go. That is the last sister. And each one gives an achievement, so dealing with all three of them gets you an achievement accordingly. In doing so, we get the Lord of Carrion, a very powerful staff. Uh, ideal for level 50. We get the... And we get a set of mysterious boots called the Wayfarers. It is an Outlander-specific item, so we can't really use it. Uh, we do get uh, Mariksha's Brooch, though, which is a pretty decent neck item. Yeah, let's see. It's not as good as uh, everything else, though. I'm probably going to have to uh, keep the Ember Eye Pendant, ideally because its magic binding luck is just way better. Uh, everything else does appear... Nah. Although I do like the staff, I can't deny that. 9% cast speed, you get 2% chance to fully heal yourself. 5% uh, chance to raise a Shadowling. Which is not restricted to a specific class, even. Charge rate increased by 25% and 15% reduction in fumble chance. Hmm. I'm probably going to recycle these items. There isn't a really a need to uh, keep them, though. So I'm probably just going to recycle them into something new. And we'll probably get something uh, ideal to our level. Otherwise, nothing really sticks here, so we're just going to keep it as is. And who knows, maybe we can get some uh, good treasure from the ornate chest. Uh, no, nothing really. Alright, well, regardless, we've defeated the three sisters, and now we can move on to our next objective. Because that's just how this game works. To that end, we are going to march all the way back to the Imperial camp to let Thrillbot know what has transpired here. And we'll go from there. I don't think we need to do anything too crazy here, so let's just take what we can and we'll move on to the next objective. Alright, Nether Realm Portal is a no-go, we don't need that. Alright, to the waypoint portal, let's go back to the Imperial camp. And let's inform Trillbot of our success. Hey, buddy. You've slain the Vile Sisters. Excellent. I shall write a new ending to my song. The Wicked Three, Dark Powers Found, and Rule the Twisted Land. But I could see, one honor bound, and victory was at hand. Ah, it will be a splendid tale. Please, accept this token of my undying gratitude. In doing so, we get some nice little items here, and I do believe I wanted pants of some kind. Uh, these both give melee weapon bonus. 
which is not really that great. And these boots aren't any better either. Well, actually, no, the physical armor was something that was worth noting. Hmm. I'll have to think about this, but I don't think the physical armor boost is gonna change much. Yeah. But hey, we're at level 54 now, so that's nice. Hmm. Let's actually check, because this actually will dictate a lot. So, currently our stats are... 49 reduction. And if I were to equip these... I would lose a lot of these, right? Yeah, I'd lose a lot of reductions, which... Would suck. I'm gonna keep the Machinus Clogs until I can find more damage reduction. But uh, what I will do is I will take this ring here and I'm gonna replace... Let's replace the Firefox ring, I'm thinking. Yeah, let's replace the Firefox ring. It's gonna give us more magic finding luck anyways. So yeah, we'll replace the Firefox ring. And we'll go from there. But yeah, no, this is gonna give us... It's gonna reduce our damage by three, or all damage taken by three. Which is going to make it a 52 damage reduction, which is ideal. Uh, character panel, we have leveled up, so we should consider that. Uh, let's see, we are going to level up with, I guess, Vitality here? No, I think I wanted Strength? Yeah, let's just spam Strength. Let's get Strength up to 200, and then we can uh, stop level Strength, or stop leveling Strength, rather. As for our abilities, I think I wanted to focus into Sledgebot here. We've got two more points that we can work with if we want. Uh, we are currently level 54, so we need four levels before everything... Or we need one level before we unlock Coup de Gras. So that will bring us down a point, but we'll get another point back, so we'll have two left there. And we could save for literally everything here, but I think I'm going to focus into at least getting one point into a mobilization copter here. Or I could go with force field. Hmm. If I buff force field, that would uh, mean I get more tank or ability. I could also increase the... I boosts of a uh, blast cannon which is an option because it would increase the physical damage taken by enemies by a little bit I'm gonna focus on the mobilization copter because at least that way I can get the tier 1 bonus which gives a, a maximum of 5 targets maybe affected at a time from there uh, I guess I'll, I'll guess I'll upgrade force field so I can at least get the tier one bonus. Plus we'll get 20 knockback resistance, so that's a plus. As for items here, I think I'm just gonna get rid of the surveyor boots. As much as they seem nice, I'm gonna get rid of them. Uh, pants though. Hmm. I think I'm gonna get rid of the witchfinder pants, and I'm gonna swap out. Let's get rid of the Firefox belt here. Alright, we get ourselves a Mysterious Staff. The Death's Vantage. Uh, it gives a lot of bonuses. 2 crit chance, 10 to crit damage, 14 health steal on hit, 5 to ice damage. All damage taken reduced by 1. 16 ice armor, 4 fast movement speed. Could conveys a small chance to freeze and stun, and conveys silence for one turn. Or one second, rather. It's a nice staff, but I don't use staves. Or staves, rather, so it's useless to me. Okay, so, uh, let's see, what else do I got? 
Yeah, it's not that good. I'm not, I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It's not that good. Okay, so I guess these are, uh, gonna be recycled then. I'll sell everything else that I don't need and we'll go from there. Janna, let's see, you've got a level 50 Ice Ember, a Heal All 4. I don't need the Heal All, so I'll sell everything here. Let's see, these are rare shoulder pads. They're level 61. 3 to all damage, 13 vitality. It's alright. But that 61 requirement is not gonna cut it. So I'm gonna sell those. Alright. Let's see, what else could I wear? Okay, Dwarf King here is not gonna cut it. Let's see. 28, 28, 56. Yeah, not, not that good. Yeah, nothing really sticks out there. Uh, I might want to replace the Ring of Old Rook, but that's about it. Or at least that's oh. what would interest me anyways. Uh, we will buy some potions here. There we go, that should be enough for now. We are gonna go to our... I guess we'll check out the blacksmith just to see if there's anything interesting. Let's see. Twenty-nine dexterity attribute and sixty or six vitality. The twenty-nine dexterity isn't bad. Ah, uh, I could do better though. This would give me two slots for free and thirteen mana. This is a gear set which gives us health for minion health and whatnot, which is not that good. I can do better. 30 dexterity attribute. Interesting. Not what we need, though. Oh, uh, let's see. Hmm. Nothing that really sticks out beyond that, though. Hmm. I mean, I could aim for the stats, but would be the point, right? I'm gonna say no. I'm better off checking out this. Uh, let's see, this shirt is actually way better, I think. Yeah, I was going to uh, destroy this set and then uh, replace it with this because of the physical armor boost and the uh, amount of gold increase. Yeah, no, let's uh, go and destroy the item here, recover the pieces. There we go. Let's wear this. Let's wear the lucky die. Then we will wear the ranged weapon damage bonus on the geodetic ring, I guess. This will keep our damage high. And then I do believe the gambler is the next best thing. So we could buy a cannon here, but I don't think that's going to get us a rare. Uh, Ring-wise, let's see. 2918s. I'm very curious as to why these two are there. Hmm. If I can get two rings in a dungeon, that'd be really nice, but I highly doubt it. Um, let's see. Uh, do we need a new helm? No, not really. Uh, these... I could get a new set of gloves. Maybe that would be ideal? Let's go for the 33. A! A Berserker specific item. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess this is a good way to uh, convert these, at least. It's not like I'm gonna be using them, so yeah. Uh, Mysterious Pants. Let's see what this is. This is... absolutely useless to us. Lovely. Hey, friend. Alright. In that case, we've got the gloves covered. Um, maybe we can get something 
Uh, yeah, let's get an amulet. Why not? Uh, Oath Breaker amulet. We can actually use this. Uh, 20 range damage bonus. We will lose out on the magic finding luck and improved vendor prices. But it's arguably going to be better. Yeah, no, we're going to wear the Oathbreaker Amulet. It's going to give us 40 Ice Armor, Fire Armor, and Poison Armor. It's going to give us 20% our damage as well. And if I do recall correctly, if I wear this... Yeah, it's going to give us a significant boost. Alright. It's sad to see the Ember Eye Pendant go, because it's given me magic luck, but... Ah, it's a price to pay. It's a price to pay. I don't think it's gonna matter near the end anyway, so... We might as well just get going. Alright. Let's begin. Through the gates. We are now at the next area. We've got the waypoint. We're at the final aspect of this area, which is uh, the dungeon zone, as it were. Before we do uh, go any further... Huh. There's a lot of things here, apparently. Hello there. Yeah, we got a general goods vendor with uh, grand potions, which is interesting. Okay, we got the blacksmith here which has a bunch of new items here, apparently. Kind of regret not coming here sooner, but that's fine. Summon Skeleton for... Venom Embers are tempting, but I'm gonna hold off for now. Sentinel Belt, interesting. Dwarf King stuff, nothing too crazy. Okay. Then we got the transmuters, uh, the gambler's probably somewhere in here, right? Uh, he is over here. Okay. Look what fell off the back of the wagon. Alright, well, I can't really think of anything else that I want to buy other than the cannon. I could try for a higher quality cannon, but I don't think that's gonna work. Uh, what I can do, though, is cancel out, wear this temporarily to improve vendor prices, Have I and let's see, it's a little out of budget, let's see, can I sell anything? I can sell some things in here. Uh, super health potions are probably going to be our go-to, we're going to sell this, I suppose, give us that edge. And, yeah, no, I'm gonna try for this cannon. Let's see. And I get a shoddy cannon. Ah, well. Uh, 1% chance to cast fully heal on self, though. Ooh. That's a fun ability. Nah. We don't need it. We're gonna swap out to our new amulet. I'm actually gonna... Yeah, no, I'm actually gonna keep this item because it does have one of the few rare properties of keeping an item together, or rather keeping a uh, specialty, or rather words. It, it's got the uh, reduction to sale prices, so I could actually use that in the future if I ever want to sell or buy. Regardless, My powers diminished, but I had to come to give you one. But there, between our world and this most fragile, Hordes of them are beginning to burst through, and if the alchemist destroys the core, the tide of Nebulon will be unstoppable. All right. A warning, basically. Okay. You must overtake the alchemist before he reaches the Clockwork Core. With the power of our drag's heart, he will destroy the barrier between the worlds. Seize the heart. He intends to use it for destruction. But in 
So, put simply, we have to rush to the end and try and overtake the alchemist before he, uh, basically destroys the world. Which is, you know, pretty for the norm of, uh, what we do. So, whatever. Alright, we are down to a thousand gold. We're just gonna have to make do. I guess we will buy some potions real quick before we go. Might as well, right? Uh, wrong vendor. We should talk with Hess here. Uh, let's see. So far, mana potions are our lifeline right now, so I'm just gonna buy all those. There we go. We'll go from there. And you know what? Because I haven't done it yet, I'm actually gonna drink this potion because I'm curious. Yep. That's what Sweet Aid does. You have perished. It's a good thing I was in town when I died. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's essentially what the Witch's Potion does. You just basically KO. I'm not gonna be... I used it early, but whatever. Oh god, okay. Uh, enemies, enemies. Alright, it's time for uh, a lot of dwarf shield bears to come in to play here. We're going to be dealing with a lot of tech. Okay, barrier up. At least we're going to get a ton of gold for this, so that's nice. This is going to help our uh, expenditures to some extent. Although, if I'm being real with you, getting a reduction of a significant value is going to be better. But regardless, I'm just rambling on at this point. Okay. Yeah, no, I'll need, like, uh, an item that will help with sales. Because if I can reduce the uh, shop prices by a significant margin, oh boy. That's going to be convenient. But regardless. Ow. There you up. There we go. What are you going to do? You are going to get stunned. Shield blocks damage. That isn't going to stop us from uh, dealing excessive damage. There we go. Done and done. Oh god. Okay, there we go. We'll summon a golem. Cinder mage. Gonna get completely demolished though. Okay, and we've got an actual Dwarven Mechanoid, as opposed to a, uh, the Rustic ones, which is interesting, to say the least. Alright, let's move on. Oh, a Dwarf Brute. Spin attack, knockback immune, overhead smash. Reminds me of those trolls, but, uh, much more dangerous. Oh well, at least uh, it's easy to deal with them. Yeah, no, it's like really easy. Yeah, there you go. Okay, throw down a uh, turret. All right, barrier up just to be safe. And yeah, no, it's gonna be pretty self-explanatory running through this area. Alright, Dwarf Iron Guard is not going to be a hard target. So far, so good. Yeah, no, the 
mechanoids are really easy here. Nope. Okay, let's uh, summon another turret or uh, unit here. Start blasting. <laughs> And it's just gonna be a, uh, a harassment of barrages from uh, basic attacks. Shouldn't be too hard to deal with. Barrier up. Oh, that is a boss unit. That's gonna be a pain in the butt to deal with. Okay, let's back up. There we go. it's easy to deal with. Well, it's slow, meaning it's easy to heist. So, there you go. That's what I meant. My is it does appear... Yeah, no, it's uh, not freezing as a quality, which is annoying. So I gotta avoid its attacks as much as I can. Otherwise, it's gonna do that. <laughs> Last thing I want is it uh, chasing me down, that's for sure. Ow. Okay. Yeah, no, especially if it does that, it's gonna hurt me. So. Ow. Guy is really dangerous. Yeah, you can't really uh, lay down on this guy. He is just a problem. All right, let's bear summon a golem. Cause this a distraction. Absolutely useless distraction now. There we go. We are making progress, though. He's almost done. He's a level 50, though. What hell the danger, though? I do think this is the final area. Because, uh, there was no quest leading up to this point, so... Yeah, no, I guess this is, like, the last area that I need to worry about. There's some interesting items, though. Yeah, there's uh, things that allow for full heals, which is... rare. I don't know what to say about that, huh? Okay, let's bear her up. Deal with the Iron Guard. There we go. The chain of attack stun attacks is at least doing its work, which is nice. Enchant items with electricity. I kind of wish I could. But that's going to be costly as hell. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get that enchant off, I don't think. I'd need something uh, a lot cheaper. Yeah, no, these costs are like absurd, if I recall correctly. Okay, otherwise, the mechs are easy to, enough to deal with. We actually got ourselves a Venom Ember, which is pretty good. This will increase our poison armor, at least. Uh, let's give this to the ring of the dungeon here. This is going to help our poison armor. We do need an electricity version, though. Okay, give it some time. There we go. Gather some mana. There we go. Okay, now for you. Oh god. The unboard is being a dangerous unit. Oh god. At least I got the stun off, in which case, ooh, yeah, no, once that happens. Yeah, no, he's having a rough time after that. Okay, deal with the shield bear. Yeah, 
There we go. Dealt with him. That was good. All right. Now that leaves the Cinder Mage here. Let's barrier her up just to be safe. Deal with the shield bearers and whatnot. They shouldn't be too bad of a problem. Got a chest. Nice. Okay, so far so good. We're making significant progress. That said, I've got a lot of uh, progress to make up anyway, so that's going to be a time and a half to get done. Okay, let's just spam the basic attack. That will give us insane amounts of shielding. Okay. Got an interesting uh, ability there. Let's just spam our basic attack. This is going to get us some serious charge. There we go. And with that, we get an absurd barrier. Alright, let's spam the basic attack or the right click attack. And there we go. Deal some significant harm. There we go. Okay, we will wait, then we will summon a turret. There we go. That should help. And yeah, there we go. Alright, so far so good. Isn't too bad. Alright, let's summon a golem. Get some defenses going. Might as well clear the area, essentially. Alright, so far so good. We've cleared out this side. Oh god. Uh, yeah, those flaming areas are not so good. You have to be careful there. I'll just start spam hitting him. There we go. At least stun is still working at this point. I'm kind of surprised it has managed to stay relevant this entire time. It's not a common thing that people apply, but... Well, no, it's not a common thing that we rely heavily on, but hey. I'm not complaining. If it works, I'm not going to complain. Uh, that is a lot of gold, so I'll grab that. I mean, I'm not going to... Say no to gold. Okay, there we go. Deal with the iron guard here. Spam the basic attacks. There we go. Okay, there he goes. Now we deal with the cinder mage. There we go. Now the Iron Guard is uh, just having a rough time, because he can't retaliate, period. Alright, put some uh, current here. There we go. Alright, turrets. Alright, let's deal with the flame pegger, because I'd rather just focus on this guy here. Alright, Dwarf Root is having a rough time of it. <laughs> Getting really slow because of uh, just the ability that uh, our uh, copter is doing. And it's making it convenient for us to attack. Barrier. There we go. Alright, let's make sure we deal with everybody, and we should be good. Uh, so far, shield bears are not holding out against our attacks, which is a good thing. Uh, nothing over on this end, so I guess we'll just mark our way back. 
Alright, that's another specialty health potion. That's going to be uh, really helpful for us in the future. Okay. Okay, let's barrier up. Play it safe. Alright, the dwarf brute is having some trouble. <laughs> He's getting really slow. That's convenient for us. There we go. And we just got a chain so that way we got a time it so that way we're dealing our excessive damage with the bonuses. There we go. And if we move up, now we can deal with these guys. Not that it's going to help them. We barrier up, summon the turrets. That's going to give us a ton more to work with. Okay, deal with the Iron Guard here. There we go. And I guess we'll deal with these guys here. Done and done. That wasn't too bad. Okay, we'll grab the Legionnaire Belts. And, yep, yeah, that's a lift down to the next floor. Alright, so far so good. Let's toss in what we don't need over to our pets. Uh, everything here so far we don't need. Uh, I guess I don't need that precise gun, so we'll go from there. I'm gonna quickly grab a drink, and then we'll continue on. One second. I'm back. It seems if I uh, use my mute key, which is uh, my tilde key, apparently I move upwards. So if you're curious as to why that was happening, that's the reason. But yeah, it's an interesting uh, little tidbit worth noting. Not like it's really going to change much of what I do here. Yeah, no, these guys aren't that tough to deal with. The explosion is a bit of a concern, but other than that, you know, I can manage. Hmm. wonder what we're going to face up here. I'm just hoping that we're actually going to be able to fight whatever's uh, coming our way. More than anything. But yeah, no, the 20% uh, damage boost is definitely going to be worth help. Or is going to be definitely uh, helpful to us, I do believe. There we go. Barrier up. Alright, turrets. Let's deal with the battle turret before it you know, becomes a problem. Alright, fine. You want to be a target? You can. Alright, Flame Kegger is having some troubles, but that's fine. Barrier up. Nothing on the bottom side, though, so that's interesting. Not that it's going to be a big deal. Six gun, absolutely useless to us right now. Okay. Let's see what we find. Yeah, so the closer we get, the hotter it's gonna be because we're getting closer to lava, I think. Whatever this place is, it's ominous similar to uh, the fire zone that we uh, experienced in our, uh, in uh, Force Light 1. But no matter, we'll be fine. We've done it before, we'll do it again. Oh god, okay, barrier up. Let's heal. Rather than not experience a uh, round two. 
Oh god. Okay. Ow. Thankfully the barrier's uh old enough. Okay, let's uh heal mana here. Spam our attacks here. So far so good. Done and done. Nice. Grab the super mana potions, because every little bit is gonna matter. Okay, barrier up. Cinder Mage is gonna get stunned to Oblivion. And let's just continue blasting. Nice. Shield Bearer doesn't even stand a chance. Okay, we're gonna go rightmost area to start with. Just slowly just circle around the area. Deal with whatever we find. Likely gonna be a, de a constant dungeon crawl until we get to the end, I feel, so... Let's just be ready for that, and who knows, maybe we'll beat the game. I don't know. Alright. Dwarf and Mecha. Summon a unit here. This is going to give us some serious damage boosting. Okay, Dwarf Shield Bear is not having a good time. Oh god, oh god, heal barrier. Okay, that was close. Good golly god. Ow, okay. Deal with you. Ah, that would explain it. You are the problem. And you've got friends as a solution. <laughs> nice. Ow. Okay, let's barrier up again. Yeah, no, his uh, robotic minions are a problem, to say the least. Okay, thankfully, uh, he is not that smart. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we want to... Let's get our mana back up, then we'll summon a turret. Summon a golem. Alright, it does seem like, uh... <laughs> doing that has immobilized him enough for us to just wail on him like that okay I can work with that alright let's bury her up alright let's wail on these rotten dwarves I suppose this be too hard all things considering they're really easy to kill there we go, and Mechanoid is done. We found the lift down, so we could theoretically just speed through this, but I'd much prefer to thoroughly explore this and get as much experience as I possibly can. Call it a personal preference of a uh, choice. But yeah, no, uh, clearing the area is entirely a benefit to us, so that's what I'm personally doing it for. Alright. Let's deal with the mechanoid now. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty much just click and shoot after all, so no need to overcomplicate things. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Dwarven uh, saboteurs, or no, agile dwarven shyenbolts. 
That is a very weird name for some greaves. I'll, I'll say that much. Or pants. How, however you want to go for it. But well, regardless, doesn't matter what I think of the uh, pants. As long as it, you know, works, I'm not going to complain. Okay. There we go. That's one. Can you stop? Here we go. Well, at least the uh, Fool Reaper is uh, easy to take out. <laughs> yeah, no, that was easy. Nice. Alright, let's bury her up. Let's see what else is over here. Probably not a lot. Yeah, no, there's like, you know, the basics. The boat. It's the most basic of the basic units. Mechanoids, you know, rare enemies. It's basically common. We've done it for 10 screens. So you guys know what we're uh, all about, after all. As long as we just cannon spam, we're basically just going to win most fights anyways. Alright. Ooh, that's a uh, lot of gold. Okay, that's going to help somewhat, I think. Let's deal with the Dwarven mech. Okay, let's deal with the Dwarven mech. Okay, let's just spam hits and let's see how things fare. Your pet is All right, let's summon a minion just to get this progress going. Nice. Okay, let's take all this gold here. Oh, hold on. There we go. So you can either brute force entering here, or you just gotta release this guy, which, you know, it's... It wouldn't have mattered either way. Alright, let's summon a turret here. This will surely deal more damage, there we go. Yep. <laughs> Alright, you are being the problem. Out the way you go. Now we deal with dwarf brutes. Alright, not bad. A bunch of gold is always nice. Oh. Her sword in a, uh, a chest in a... Uh, mechanical dungeon. Not too surprised by that, I must admit. Okay, there's a bunch of dwarves here and another dwarf group. Not sure why these uh, mechanical beings are called dwarf groups, but alright. Must be a dwarf inside the mechanism. Or it is dwarf and uh, mech combined, I guess? I don't know. It's something. Yeah, no, they're piloting mechs, basically. Which is certainly an interesting situation. Summon a unit here. Do what they said they're made before it becomes a nuisance. Uh, let's heal up before we die. There we go. There we go. Not. Nice. Not bad. Now, if we go up here, we're going to be met with a bundle of cinder mages. Not a fan of the uh, fireball explosions they're causing, but, you know, that's just how they are. As long as the stun works, that's all that really matters. Ow. 
Well, at least they're jumping now, so I can deal with the uh, monsters, respectively. There we go. Yeah, no, they're making this really easy to just uh, funnel them, so... Why should I stop them? Alright, let's just start pelting them. Oh. Barrier up. Alright, let's take the time to uh, hold off. Alright, let's summon a uh, distraction of sorts. Now we deal with the dwarf group. Uh, let's move up over to here, actually. I'm going to clear out these guys real quick. So that way I've got some uh, space to work with, essentially. I'll deal with the dwarf and battle turret while I'm at it. There we go. Now we just wail on the dwarf groups here. Shouldn't be too hard. Oh, I should bury her up after that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't got much health when it comes to, uh... Well, actually, no, I've got a significant sum of health. Yeah, no, the enemies are just that damaging. Alright, let's clear out the dwarves here. Alright, let's deal with these, there we go. Overall, not too bad. Alright, there we go. That's another done. Alright, now for the Dwarf Mechanoids. There we go. The mech's uh, armor has been destroyed. We're just going to slowly but surely whittle them down. And scale up our uh, charges here. And yeah, we can uh, use that as he needs to get a barrier. Here we go. Alright. Summon a golem to distract. We'll wait until we get enough mana so that way we can summon a boss and then we can just start right clicking. There we go. Now we can uh, spam the right click and uh, get them as we go. And we just got a hold. And we'll go from there. There we go. Yeah, no, it's basically an auto attack on, uh... Yeah, no, it is, uh, basically an auto attack. Okay, but we seriously need to, uh, figure out a, uh, means to getting scrolled with, uh, the right click, though. Regardless, I will make it work. Let's move over to here. Now we deal with the Iron Guard here. Okay. Alright, Warven Battle Turret. Next to you. done and over with. Okay, we just got the Dwarven Brutes. Alright, let's gather some mana, summon the Brutes. There we go. Now we just spam the right click and hope that it's going to go down quickly. Which it will. It It's just a tanky boy. Okay. Well, with that, that's mo that's basically the area done and over with. Now we can skedaddle over to the next area. Uh, let's see. Did we get anything useful? The pants might be... Uh, pet minion health and nothing really good. Okay, so everything can go into pet inventory... And we can sell that when we get the chance. For now, though, we can mosey on over to the exit of the next area. And once we get a full inventory, we can portal out.
That's assuming that we even reach that point. But I digress. Down the lift we go. Now before we go, I'm gonna take a sip. Alright. Now where are we? We are dealing with a similar zone to the first floor, I believe. Oh, a mimic, though. Alright, let's barrier up. Deal with the there we go. Now we deal with the mimic. There we go. He is not having a fun time, the Mimic. Okay, we're gonna summon a unit. Uh, let's heal. Barrier. Alright, let's go on this side so that way we don't have to face the impending doom of a, uh, you know, a cosmic or a seismic wave. Uh, that's assuming uh, they don't just do it anyways. <laughs> At least they take some time to turn before they do it anyways. No matter. As long as we can deal with most of the enemies, we should be fine. Pretty self explanatory at this point. Very curious what's at the end of the, uh, these tribulations and trials. But we should be fine. Okay, let's recover some mana here. Alright, let's bury her up. Ow, okay, that's a lot. Okay, I can deal with the... Oh god, there is a rare enemy here. I gotta back up. Okay, he's an explosive enemy, no less. Interesting. Let's get some mana recovery here. Alright. Some of the golem. Oh god, nearly died there. God, I hate these uh, dwarf fruits. They're really just pushing the limits of how I can survive. Okay. Barrier up. Alright, now we deal with the dwarf fruit as uh, he's coming in. Nice. Okay, back up. Let's make sure we just lure this guy. As long as he's chasing me, we're basically good. And if he gets stunned in the process, then... Yeah, there you go. It's basically a win. Yeah, no, he only uh, makes it easier for us if uh, he actually chases us. Okay, let's summon the turrets. Get that damage in. Yeah, no, that turret's really putting into work, I must admit. Okay. This is probably gonna be like that dragon fight that we had, I think. Where it's uh, gonna be a lot of, uh, a lot of floors until we get to the end. Uh, I think the core limit on that is like four, but I guess we'll see, won't we? Okay, let's barrier up, just so we got the defenses. Seems like we're getting into crystal area though, which is interesting. Okay, but there's a lot of dwarf brutes, which is really annoying, I must admit. Even I have my patience when it comes to enemies like this. Like, come on. They're all like heavy tanks that I can't, you know, bypass their defenses in. Well, I guess that's just the life of a physical user, right? I don't know. At 
least I'm doing this much, so that's fun. I am curious though. We're dealing 452 to 818 damage. The fact that I'm doing that much and still is taking that much damage to take them out is uh, amazing. And to think this isn't... I think this is actually the hardest difficulty. I just didn't put it on hardcore. Okay, so, you know, I can I can understand that. If it were normal difficulty, I'd probably be, like, taking a lot faster dealing with these enemies. And you know what? I, I did forget about something, didn't I? Let's take the moment to summon our bots here, because I keep forgetting that I got some of these. Each war. Oh well. Alright, War Fruit is going nuts. Alright, summon a turret. This is gonna deal even more damage to what him. We're gonna summon a golem here. There we go. Damage is gonna start clustering. There we go. Nice. Deal with the uh, Dwarf Iron Guard here. Ow! I was not expecting that from the Iron Guard, but okay. Well, at least it goes to show that they're still dangerous, especially in groups. All right. At least the uh, dwarf shield bears are like the easiest enemies to deal with out of the loss. <laughs> Could have been way worse. All right, is there anything over here? Probably not. Well, aside from, you know, threats to my existence. Okay, let's barrier up. Alright, now for the Dwarf Brutes. Let's just spam a basic attack. Here we go. There's some Mook, just to get a distraction going. Alright, now he's gonna go ham and attack as much as he can. My goal is, you know, being a good distraction for both sides. Barrier up. Alright, turrets. Alright, now we spam. And keep going, essentially. Shouldn't take too long just to defeat the enemies, and we should be fine. There we go, that is that. Grab the gold. And off we go. Alright, we are up to our next trader here, who's offering ability boosts, which I'm not sure what I can upgrade here. Uh, let's see, he is the Master Enchanter. Okay, okay. Okay, what can you enchant for me, my guy? Let's see. I'm gonna have you enchant... A ring, I guess? Yeah, let's enchant the ring of the dungeon here. This is gonna give us plus three to poison damage, which is useless to us. How about this? This is gonna give us six to mana, which is, again, not that useful to us. Lovely. Okay, well... I can't really enchant anything else as far as I'm concerned. Oh, no, wait, I can. I get 11, 11 more armor. That I can work with. That is going to help my survi survivability here even more. Which is convenient. Okay. Summon some golems. And let's just continue on our way. We're not going to get much in the way of a... Uh, 
enchanting stuff here, but whatever. Now if I could find uh, some serious sale values, then I can make this work, but whatever. It don't matter. Okay. Great. Iron Guard is uh, going to be a nuisance no matter what we do. Alright, there we go. Summon the turrets. Alright, Dwarven Brute's going to be the most problematic of the lot, so that's fine. Deal with the Dwarven Turret. Now we can spam all the Dwarven Brutes. And yeah, we just keep going until he goes down. Simple as that. Oh god, uh, that is a rare Dwarven Brute, which is going to be annoying to deal with. Very annoying, if I dare say. Okay. Let's summon a Golem. Yeah, no, he's the hard trail of me, I do believe. And for quite a while to boot. Let's go for a healing pot. There we go. Yeah, we're just gonna rock the healing pot for a while. I think I can out tank him at that point. Yeah, so far, uh... Yeah, no, I can out-tank him. Yeah, no, if I use a healing paw, I can basically out-tank this guy. There we go. And even if I do just get into a barrier, uh, I'm gonna survive. Well, that wasn't too bad. Ow. At least I'm getting more health potions and mana potions here, but yeah. Ooh, ranged weapon boost. That is exactly what we need at this point in time, I do believe. Uh, let's see. I guess I'm going to give it to my Oathbreaker Amulet. This is going to increase my range damage by 25. And that's going to only increase my damage significantly. So now I'm at 477 to 843 damage. Without this amulet, I'm dealing less than 70 damage. So that's nice. Uh, the bow, not as useless or useful. Yeah. We don't need that. Alright, and with that, we can move on our way over to here. And clear out what we can. Barrier up. And there we go. Just slowly little down the enemy as we go. Done and done. deal with these guys here. There we go. That is the Rotten Dwarfs dealt with. Oh, there is some more golems. Hopefully not more mechs, but we'll have to see. We're always going to be dealing with threats like this anyway, so I'm just going to have to hope it works out. Here we go. 
Summon a Golem just to give us the edge here. Summon another turret just to give us even more of an edge. There we go. Slowly whittle down these guys. Whatever I killed, I got a lot of gold for. So that's nice. Can't complain there. Okay, there we go. Let's deal with the Cinder Maze before it becomes a problem. Alright, nice. So far, so good. Yeah, I know. If, if it's like anything like the bosses, we're gonna have a rough time. At least uh, our fame's nearly reached the uh, peak, so if we just defeat a few more of those, then we'll get another skill point, which is going to be convenient for us. And we did manage to get an Ice Ember, so that's nice. That's going to help us significantly. Although, if I had a choice, I'd like to get an Electricity Ember, so that way I can get some more damage reduction regarding electricity anyways. Not that it's going to help us here, because it seems like fire is the most prominent element here. Uh, but the alchemist is this way, so we are basically at the forefront of enemy territory. I'm going to back up a bit, though, because we still have much more to... Ex well, a little bit to explore back here. Not sure if it's going to lead to any items, but we might as well. Yeah, no, these ice gems are going to be pretty useless to us. But I can keep it still because it is 58 ice armor, so we might be able to find a use for it. Hello, hello. Bunch of gold. Never hurt anybody. That's actually going to help us a little bit here. Alright, there we go. Open this. A mysterious ring. Brass barreled shotgun. Let's see what this ring is. This is the Ring of the Witchfinder. Uh, this is a significant boost to all damage, or a 6% boost to all damage. Um, is it better than the Ring of Bullrock? Ah. It gives us fire armor, it gives us some electricity armor, more poison armor. It has one sockets. Is it that good though? It's really a choice between physical damage reflection and a witch finder. We'd just be basically taking 100 more damage, which is negligible. Let's see. Honestly, I think I could manage without the big ring of bull rock. I much prefer the damage increase as opposed to, you know, the other option I had, because it's going to give us up to 865, so I think that extra damage is warranted here. It's going to be better for us in the long run. Yeah, I mean, if it were like a damage reduction, then obviously I'm going to be taking it. Because going by statistics currently, we've got a 52. We can get up to a 75. So we got like, we got roughly 23 e e extra that we can basically muster into literally anything of our build. But yeah, no, the damage reduction is just meant for survival purposes anyway, so the more damage reduction we have, the better. It is literally our own like saving grace when it comes to enemies like this. Especially considering we're taking so much damage and still it's being hellish for us. But regardless, we'll manage. Grab what I can here. There we go. And I guess with that, we can now set up a portal here because once we get into the Alchemist Zone, we won't be able to go back. But thankfully, because of this, I can now, uh... I can now set up. Alright, let's see. Haste for... I mean, it's a tempting ability, but I don't need it, so we're just gonna sell everything here. There we 
go. I don't need anything here. So I'll sell all this. There we go. These gloves, let's see. Ah, uh, it's nice, but I can't use them, so I'm not gonna bother. Alright, Blacksmith, have you got anything lovely that we can use? Nothing just yet. Okay. How about gloves? Let's see. That is a lot of resistances, to be fair. It is tempting, but I don't think I need this. It would increase pet damage by 10, but I don't think that's going to be a huge... Well, it, I guess it would be a diff significant difference. But I don't think I need that. I could wear these gloves to give a boost to damage. Just give some movement speed buff. Overall, nothing that really strikes at my heartstrings for useful right now. Uh, what I can do is go to the gambler, I suppose, and go for his loot, see what he has. Uh, let's try and get a turret. A, hey, the old iron gob. It is a different version of the iron mouth. Uh, let's see. Instead of the iron mouth, the iron gob deals... It reduces the armor on per on targets. It's got a normal stun chance. It's got 350 physical damage over 5 seconds, which is different from the other cannon, but... Oh, it deals f only fire and poison damage, which is a uh, interesting little tidbit there. Huh. Alright. Okay. Well, I guess with that, then I can uh, take the Ring of Ulbrock here. I can take the Old Iron Mouth. Do I want to combine all these? Because if I do this, there's no going back. Uh, do I want the Iron Gob? Uh, let's see. This de does deal more damage, to be fair. It does deal more damage. And it's purely elemental here. Uh, let's actually check. Is it better to wield this than the other one? Uh, yeah, no, because it gets to a thousand damage. <laughs> uh, I can deal an additional, uh... 29 ice damage, but I don't think that's gonna cut it. Uh, you've got ice things, but nothing beyond that, so I don't really want to go about that. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna transmute all this. It's been decided that Iron Gob is gonna be our weapon of choice for the end fight, so... Boom. Unless, of course, this bow is even better. Uh, 311. Uh, kill 20 trogs to upgrade. It is a physical and ice damage bow. It's got a lot more damage than the uh, cannon. But I don't think I'm going to be using it, I don't think. Am I? It steals mana, deals poison damage to the baseline. You know what? No. No, I don't like it. Uh, how about the enchanter? Let's see what Iron Gob gives. I like the Iron Gob. And we've got another 14, negative 14 to all armors, so that is going to be our ironclad weapon. And it's not like we can do anything else with this cannon, so I guess I'll just throw in the Ice Ember just to increase the damage output. And let's see. This increases it to 600 to 1,800, or uh, 1,000, but yeah. Yeah, so this is a high damaging cannon, put simply. <laughs> Alright. This is dealing over 80... F er, per hit, it's reducing the armor of a target by 85. That's not bad. And that's per hit, mind you. And I don't know how it stacks up, but I think this might be the boss killer that we've been looking for. 
Yes, we don't get much stun, but, I mean, it's a small price to pay. We're already stunning enough anyway, so it's no big deal. For now, though. Uh, let's actually swap over to the super heals and super mana. I'm gonna have the excess... Uh, let's put the excess mana potion in. Probably gonna be using that immediately. We're definitely gonna be using the frenzy fishes and the prismatic fish here just to give our uh, pet the absolute best time. But yeah. It's going to be one heckin heck of a fight. And this is for five minutes, so yeah. This is going to be one hell of a fight. It does appear that uh, there's a lot going on here. Hmm. I am mildly curious as to what's going on here. Because this indicates that there's multiple teleport points. Interesting. I guess we'll have to see what we run into. Gonna be one heck of a fight, that's for sure. Let's start with this. Okay. There's a few valves here. I guess we'll start with this. There we go, that turns that on. Then we turn this. Okay. Oh god, okay, uh, we're dealing way more damage now. Okay, barrier up. Summon a golem. Now we summon a turret. Okay, the, the attacks are basically the same. They're just dealing more damage, I think. Yeah, no, they're dealing a little bit more damage. Nothing too crazy. And because they don't actually deal physical damage, they're basically bypassing most of the physical armor that comes with enemies. Which is convenient for us, to say the least. But yeah, no, we cleared that up pretty easily. That wasn't too bad. Get some gold there. We can hop back here. Let's see. We can't go through there just yet, so we will have to go through here instead. Alright. We need to activate this valve here. Alright, let's deal with the dwarf brute here. Shouldn't be too hard, all things considering. Yeah, no, he's really easy to deal with. Done and done. We'll go down to here. Which leads to the second valve here. And these golems should activate. Yep, as predicted. Oh, the damage over time is actually stacking here. Oh, God. Yeah, no, that damage over time really lays into them, huh? Okay. So that's how I'm going to be dealing uh, damage next to everything else. The damage over time is really going to lay into the enemies. <laughs> but hey, that's most cannons at this point, huh? Okay. There we go. Yeah, no, that's that's a, that's insane. <laughs> yeah, no, these enemies that I was having trouble with just crumple behind those damage values. All right. The old the rusty mechanoid. Oh, got a dwarf fruit here. Some of the units. Okay, there we go. So another units, there we go. Yeah, no, 
this is pretty easy at this point, huh? <laughs> Alright, well, with that, we just got this uh, rusted mechanoid to deal with, then we got another area to deal with, and then we can, uh, hopefully, this will uh, lead towards us fighting the boss, which it looks to be the case. Alright, here we are. Time for a boss battle. Alright. Well. Let's activate the Prismatic Moray. The Frenzy Fish. And let's do this. Alright, let's do this. Here we go. Hello, Alchemist. This has been a long time coming. <laughs> oh god, the damage though. Oof. Okay, Alchemist Sentry. Fires bolts of pure energy. Interesting. Some another golem. Barrier up. Okay, whittle down their sentries. It's convenient for us doing that. Okay, let's summon another turret. Deal with the sentry before it becomes a problem. Barrier up, just to be safe. So far, the Alchemist has proven to be quite... I, I hate to say it, but he's been quite easy, but I assume there's multiple phases here. It wouldn't be a final boss if, uh... We didn't have multiple phases to this boss. <laughs> Alright, so far so good, though. Barrier up. Oh, right, there's uh, multiple alchemist uh, sentries. We'll get rid of them before they become a problem. Ow! Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with that. Holy. Yeah, no, the electricity really ruined me there. Okay. Well, it's fine. Barrier up. Let's hope we uh, don't run into a situation like that again. We'll just have to uh, keep our distance, essentially. Okay. As long as we keep our distance, we should be fine. The damage should uh, carry us along. There we go. Well, that's something. Okay. Hey, round two, as I predicted. Oh God. Wasn't expecting a uh, fight like that, that's for sure. Okay. Nice try. Oh. Barrier. Okay, there we go. So, if you're familiar with the first game, we actually played a, uh, I guess I never did say, but, uh, we actually played a, uh, Alchemist as well. So there's a weird contrast going on that the Alchemist caused all this mess. And, if you think about it, who is the Alchemist? 
in uh, our previous game, because uh, Marcus was uh, also an alchemist, which makes a uh, weird contrast going on here. But yeah, no, uh, there's a... Uh, I guess I technically made my own lore for this, where uh, Marcus is technically fighting his uh, alter ego of sorts, or maybe even a clone of himself, who knows. But regardless, Marcus is uh, having a time. Ow. Barrier up. Well, at least uh, the alchemist at a distance isn't a bad problem. Okay, so we are getting some damage in. I'm glad we swapped out to a uh, slower cannon, because the damage output is arguably way easier to handle now. Oh, the netherlings, though, are coming in. That's gonna be a problem. Oh. Let's get some mana here. Alright, almost there. But yeah, no, uh, it's proven to uh, be very interesting of a contrast. Okay, where is he? Oh, he's already escaped. Okay. Alright, second part of the boss fight's down. Now we just gotta deal with the third part. I'm just gonna have uh, my pet consume the Prismatic Moray and the Frenzy Fish, just so he's out having the benefits there. Alright. Third part of the boss fight, here we go. Stasis beams. Interesting. Oh god, okay. Okay, more alchemist sentries. Not fun. Okay. Barrier up. Okay, some of the turrets. Oh god. Back up. So far, so good. Ow! Okay, let's get our mana back. There we go. Oh, god, hi. Alright, Dark Alchemist is really getting tanky now. Oh god, okay. Yeah, no, he's really, uh, suffering now. <laughs> oh, that's a chaotic beam, okay. Alright, we're gonna summon that golem there. Ow! Uh, given that this chest is there, this is probably the final fight. So, we gotta be, uh, bracing for impact. Alright, so far so good. Let's just... Carefully. Oh, hi. Out. Barrier. Heal just to be safe. Oh god, electricity, my bane. Alright, there we go. Barrier. Ah, oh, god. Oh god, okay. Barrier up again. Deal with those turrets while we can. Oh, he's got his blindness going. Get another turret. Yeah, I know the electricity is the most annoying. If I can manage most other attacks with ease. Oh god. Okay, barrier up. So far, so good. The 
making significant progress. We are down to our last mana potion, but honestly, I could care less about mana. As long as we are uh, doing damage, that's as far as I much care. Okay, we're gonna get some mana here. Gonna summon a golem. At least for a distraction. Or maybe even damage, but I digress. Out, okay. Barrier up. There we go. Nearly. Okay, there we go. Now we just focus on this. Deal with the alchemist sentries so that way they're not in the way. Tidbits here. Alright, he's really close to defeat. We just gotta be patient. No need to rush, because that is how we uh, die in most instances. And there we go. Whew. One second. Alright, I am back. But we've managed to get Ordrax Heart. We managed to get a Mysterious Axe, which I can't identify right now. And, ultimately, we've reached the end as far as I'm concerned. Or as far as I'm aware, anyways. And, yeah. Had to use some abilities just to get there, but hey. Not bad. We managed to, uh get Ordrax Heart, and now we can take the lift down. And see what happens from here. Alright, we got the waypoint here. I guess it won't hurt to look around. I am curious. Oh. Oh god. I should be very careful here, because uh, dangers are afoot. The Netherians are uh, spilling forth. There might be more to the uh, fight than meets the eye. I guess it's just more so cleaning up the mess that the alchemist caused. I, I would assume, anyways. That would make the most sense here. Okay. Oh god. Yeah, no, the... Uh, Nethrium stuff is uh, starting to uh, take root here. Well, I guess what we can do is... Let's see. Um, quests. Alright, we just need to defeat the Netherlord. Somewhere further inside the Clockwork Core, the foul Netherrim are still straining and clawing at the walls of reality trying to tear their way through the world. You are all that stands between them and the end of the world, oh god. <laughs> well, that's ominous, but okay. You know, I, I guess I guess it makes sense, given the circumstances. Alright, well, I guess that's that then, huh? Uh, I just need to check something, so give me a hot second. Let's see. Alright, given the circumstances, there doesn't appear to be anything going on just yet, but if it does happen, then I'll probably have to uh, delay stream. At least for a little while, but I'm probably going to try and beat the game today. So I'm going to push through and try and get as much done as I possibly can anyways. Alright, Dwarven Mechanoid is getting demolished there. Pretty easy to deal with. Yeah, I think the only benefit right now is us just bypassing armor, because otherwise this would be absolute hell to deal with. 
If not for the armor bypass, we'd be uh, suffering. Actually, you know what? These warriors are actually way worse. To be fair. All right, up we go to here. Yeah, let's just be careful, basically. There we go. Fuel the turret, barrier. There we go. Oh god, that is a lot of AoE. Oh god, hello. That's one hell of a fighter. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I wasn't expecting this much of a uh, retaliation strike, but okay. Oh man. Yep. At least the damage over time is really getting into him, and the uh, eventual damage does bypass any defenses they have, so that's good. Uh, let's heal up, because obviously that's going to hurt us if we keep going. Okay, is there anything over here? There probably is. Nothing good, I would imagine. Okay, another teleporter. Lovely. Ow! Wait, and then we can summon a new, another uh, golem. There we go. That will help with our fight. Oh god, the AoEs are insane. God. Yeah, let's deal the slasher because he's a pain. Okay, there we go. Finally. And yeah, these guys are gonna get really problematic if we continue to go alone. Uh, warriors are also going to be a problem, so we'll have to make sure we're barriered up. Because, yeah, no, these guys deal a lot of damage, if I recall correctly. Uh, let's see, skill-wise, absolutely take the 5th level force field, because that's just going to give us more HP to work with. In our barriers, anyways. Okay, there we go. Barrier. Oh god. Okay, let's summon a turret here. There we go. whittling him down significantly. There we go. Oh god, okay, that's a significant danger. Let's deal with you. There we go. Ow. Okay, we're gonna just casually kite over. Grab the super health pod, there we go. Barrier. Golem, there we go. And we just gotta keep going. Oh god. Okay, let's heal. Goodness knows we need it here. Oh no, that's not good. That's two and one, but lovely. That's not what we want. That's just one way ticket to uh, pain. Oh 
god, okay, ammo four. Okay, let's wait for the barrier to come up. And you know what? I did forget something. Let's summon our minions here, because I keep forgetting to do that. If not for these, I'd be stuck. There we go. Yeah, Rumble Spell. Uh, Netherim Slasher that follows suit, but thankfully we can just deal with that. There should be another? Yes, there we go. Four's off. I just uh, outpaced his uh, area. Alright, let's just get a barrier going. There we go, nice. Easy enough to dispatch, it just takes time, that's all it comes down to. Grab everything we can. Let's see, we'll toss everything into our pet's inventory from here. There we go, solid. Let's clear out the tentacles before they become a problem, but yeah, there we go. Let's see, what else we got here? We've got a special chest, but it's actually a mimic. Thankfully, I can easily deal with mimics, so it's no big deal. There we go. And off we go. Alright. No, I'm not forgetting the healing bot. Okay, good. Convenient for us. Alright, there we go. Let's deal with these swarmers. There we go. Deal with that one. There we go. Alright, that is a lot. Thankfully, I've got a bunch of area of effects, so I'm not too worried about tentacles and groups like this. So, yeah. Oh, nice. We got an identify scroll. We've managed to get the murder tool. Okay. 10% uh, chance to cast acid rain. 20% chance to break shields. 75% damage to secondary targets, and... 4% faster boost speed. Hmm. Uh, we've found the lift down, so yeah, we can go even further down. But of course, we have got quite the journey ahead of us. Alright. There we go, that's that dude. Now we deal with the turrets and tentacles. Pretty simple stuff to deal with the tentacles. They're basically just fodder. Aside from, you know, hitting. But yeah. Alright, there we go. From there, we've got to go from here. I guess we'll go around just to see what's on the top here. Might as well, right? I'll barrier up just to be safe. There we go. Done and done. Let's see what's up here. Okay, another brute guarding. We'll deal with uh, the nether brute then. Hey, level 55. Nice. That's going to get us um, a boost, I do believe. That is going to give us specifically a boost to coup de gras. Which I can't complain because that's going to boost our strength to to uh, eight times our strength for uh, ability damage. From there, I guess we increase our damage up to 90 here. We got 122. I think the biggest thing that we need right now is to increase our... Oh god. That was uh, a very skilled shot on their part. <laughs> okay, let's just 
clear out the enemies here. Oh god. And not the other way around. Deal with the dwarven armaments here. There we go. Deal with the netherim warriors. Shouldn't be too hard, all things considering. But yeah, the coup de grace will uh, significantly aid our battles, but I think that's Barrier up. Summon a golem. Just to give us a bit of an edge. Once again. Alright. Warp King Chest. Okay, that is a set item, I do believe. Yep, a 32 focus boost, if we were to wear it. But honestly, I think I like the chest piece I currently have, because it's been helping a lot for physical defense. And even though uh, the Netherim Warriors are doing uh, significant damage regardless of the fact, we would be in a worse situation if we didn't have it, so... Yeah. Sort of just trusting my instincts here. Anyways, let's deal with the Mechanoid. It's going to be easy, given we've got such good tool to uh, execute our plans. There we go. Now we deal with the Battle Turret here. Pretty easy stuff. Alright. And I guess we continue on here. Alright, Barrier up. Deal with another slasher here now. Alright, golem, turrets. Alright, let's destroy the nether brute here. Pretty easy stuff, all things considering. We got an iron ember, which increases. Uh, if we get the Ice Ember out, we can actually put in this for 73 physical boost. Which might actually deal more, I think? I don't know, actually. It's tempting to try, to say the least. To see how far we can uh, get the uh, Nether Brutes, uh, or the, uh, not the Nether Brutes, but, uh, See how far we can get the damage going. But I guess we'll see, won't we? Uh, I guess I can uh, check on that when we get to town, but once I make the choice, it's gonna be set in stone. So if I do this, I'm gonna have to be certain I do this. Oh well, either way I should be fine. So far, so good. Alright, that clears up most enemies here. Oh, hold on, we still got the... Alright, Spellbreaker's coming in, trying to uh, cause us problems. Thankfully, I can deal with these Voidlings with ease. Well, once we're summoned, that is. Oh, nearly died. Okay, let's just demolish the nether brute before it becomes a problem. Okay. Oh, hey, Mimic. <laughs> Seems our pet picked up on that and just decided to attack it. Good. Alright, what else did we get? We managed to get this cowl, which gives us 20 feet physical armor. I don't think I need that, though, so I'm just gonna leave it be. Alright. Summon a golem. Summon the turrets. And let's start wailing in on the groups. Alright, so far so good on damage. Barrier up just so we aren't being 
rounds for ourselves. Okay, there we go. Deal with that guy. Alright, that clears up most of the enemies. Keyword most. Alright, we've cleared up the top most part here. Now we can move on to the bottom bit here. Shouldn't be too hard on things if they're ankle barrier up, just to be safe. Alright, Nether Brute is next. Alright, yeah, nope, pretty, pretty easy to deal with. Oh god, a uh, barrier. Now for the Spellbreaker. Easy enough to deal with. Oh. Hey, that's some damage. Okay, so far so good. That clears up most of the enemies. I'm assuming there's more, so I'm just gonna go over here. Yep, as I figured, Spellbreaker is gonna be a nuisance, but otherwise, easy target. Alright, that's the majority of this area dealt with then. So far, so good. <laughs> All right, from there we can now go down. Mind you, I could have gone down earlier, but, you know, whatever. But yeah, we will continue on by going over here. I need to check something real quick, just to be sure. Yeah, I'll just wait on that and we'll see. All right. More threats are going to come up, so let's just be ready, I suppose. Okay. Some of the turrets. And let's deal with these guys. There we are. And there we are, Netherim Warrior. Oh, that's a trap chest, that's fine. Alright, fleeing pet. Yeah, it could be worse. Alright, slasher. Pretty self-explanatory stuff, alright. Alright, that clears that up. We check over to here. Okay, there we are. Well, at least we're getting a ton of healing. That's one of the boons here, I think. If not for the, uh... If not for that, we'd be, uh, in a bright pickle. But I digress, we can deal with the warriors with ease, and we should be able to outstack them as we go. Deal with that turret here. There we go. Let's just deal with uh, the slasher here. Bada bing, bada boom. Barrier up, just to be safe. There we go. Deal the warrior before he becomes a problem. There we are. Nothing else seems to pop out. Alright, cool. Uh, let's see, how's our gold output? It's looking fine. Looking good enough. Uh, is there any. I guess we'll deposit some things while we're here. I'll keep everything that is uh, blue on my personage, but most of it's probably going to be sold anyways. I'll keep those there, because they are import important. Everything else, meh. Okay, barrier. Great barrier, just to be safe. Deal with the warrior here. 
who is a level 51 actually. Interesting. The contrast is being set. I guess, although that is said to be fair, I'm, I am level like 55, so whatever, right? <laughs> Really, they should be equal to my level, but yeah, no, we can't handle it otherwise. But regardless, we will make it work. Okay, there we go. So far, so good. Alright, we need to go up here just so we don't run into any dangers. Well, not run into any dangers, but not die to any dangers, I should say. Okay, there we go. Let some of the turrets. Barrier up. Okay, now we deal with you. Get trailblazer helmets, or belt rather. Alright, the battle turret's there. Let's get a barrier. There we are. Let's focus all the tendrils now. I mean, we're getting a ton of gold from this as well, so that's nice. That's gonna really help our uh, economy. But, I digress. Uh, let's see, what is this belt? This gives... Electric damage taken is reduced by 10. Okay, so it's actually targeting specific elements now. Oh, whoops. There's an enemy in here, I should probably deal with that. Let's make sure he's, uh, gone. Before we, uh, take a moment to get my drink. <laughs> Well, I could add a, a physical damage type to this, and it would deal physical damage on top of everything that is being deal been dealt. Yeah, so this will deal raw 73 physical damage, which is arguably a significant boost. I do believe it would help, and it would uh, apply more into the uh, physical damage that we're doing. Uh, right, barrier. Yeah, let's be careful here. Don't want to die after all. There we go. Deal with the dwarven turret now. Alright, so far so good. Okay, now we can uh, throw a turret here. Uh, let's barrier up, preferably as soon as we can. There we go. Yeah, no, these. This is dangerous territory. No matter what I do. Well, regardless, we will find the area sooner or later. I'm not too. Uh, hard pressed on finding it right now. I mean, hell, we're taking the time to level up with all these uh, units that are level 51. We're getting quite a bit of experience to boot, so I can't complain. Okay, uh, barrier up. You know what I forgot? I forgot to summon my units here. My uh, healing and debuffers. The key units that are meant to make this a whole lot easier. I keep forgetting them. Alright, there we go. Honestly, I can't wait until we hit level 10 with uh, our scanning bot, because that's going to cause them to take damage, I do believe. So if we get that, that's going to be even better. There we go. Now whittle down this guy. Yeah, he 
yeah, no, that really slows enemies down, like, really slow. How much is this slow, anyways? Yeah, if I go into skills here... I am actually curious, let's see. Okay, so, uh... Movement speed is reduced by 28. Their attack speed and cast speed is reduced by 38. That's absurd. That's close to half. Well, it, it's like 12 points from half, but still, that's a lot of time to be slowed down for. Or a lot of percentage, even. To say the least, they're gonna be uh, in a bit of a predicament the more they keep getting slowed. Okay. Easy enough to deal with the enemies here, though, now that we've got them slowed. Because without uh, the full access of our abilities, it's just uh, pain. I guess we'll deal with these guys while we're at it. Oh god. Make sure we're dealing with the Spellbreaker here as well. Oh god. Barrier up. Okay, there we go. Okay, so far so good. We're clearing up uh, a lot of enemies to say the least. Well, hey, at the very least we're- oh god, hello. At least we're getting a ton of, uh, experience. Okay, we're going to... Ow. Okay, so far so good. Oh. Ow. Okay, ow. Barrier. Okay. Yeah, no, this guy's uh, really gonna be a pain. Alright, nice. So far, so good. There we go. Okay, nice. It's going pretty well. Oh, we've managed to get a fire trinket. Or a fire ember, I should say, rather. Uh, let's see. Do I need it for anything? I mean, I could get fire resist. Or, uh, more fire resist. It wouldn't hurt to bring this up to a significant higher point. Yeah, yeah, let's go with the flame member here. Why not? Let's just get it in. That'll help us significantly for the future. We are still lacking in electricity, I must admit, but other than that, we should be fine. We just need to get electricity resistance and we are basically in the gold. And we can't resist void as far as I'm aware, because they're specific elements, but we should be fine. Okay, now we deal with the mechanoid here. Shouldn't be too hard, there we go. Okay, got some loot, nice. Another chest here. Weapon rack. Okay, here's another chest. Oh, but it's actually a mimic. <laughs> not, that it not that I mind, it just means that we got more loot looking forward to here. There we go. So far, so good. Uh, is that... Okay, the wand gives a 10% chance to execute. I don't know what execute means, but I assume it just means an insta-kill. So, that's a pretty interesting wand. I'm not entirely sure what Execute does. Uh, I'm not going to bother checking, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm just going to assume. Okay, barrier up. 
Control Lob and Turrets. There we are. So far, so good. We can now we'll move on to here, deal with the Nether Realm swarms. Alright, nice. So far, so good. And I think we're reaching the near end. Oh god, barrier up. Yeah, eye crawler is gonna be a pain. Oh god, that actually really hurt. Okay, there we go. Slowly just whittle eye crawler out, and there we go. Oh, he summoned more. Thankfully, uh, his summon or his miniatures should be easier to deal with. There we go. All right, we're up to 20 health potions, which is absurd. But hey, I'm not complaining. Oh wait, this Nether Brood is going to divide. Oh god. Yeah, there you go. Bear up. Yeah, the dividing uh, quality is not fun, but hey, it's fine. Okay. Getting there. Almost there, I'd dare say. As long as my overall damage increases, the damage of my right click is only going to get stronger, so I can't complain. Deal with the slasher here. There we go. Shield up. Alright, there we go. Uh, we're almost there on uh, clear cleaning duty for enemies. Just got a little bit more, I think. And then we uh, basically explored the entire area, and then we can move on to the final zone. Which is going to be interesting, to say the least. Okay, deal with the turret there. There we go. Alright, that's the lift down. I don't think there's going to be more, but we'll... Well, I guess we'll see, won't we? Okay. We can still use our summons, so... Or rather, we can still use our portal scroll, so... That is... An indication that we're still not done with the area, essentially. Okay, well, with that, that is the majority of uh, gear sorted. Alright, let's keep going until we get a full inventory. In which case, well, there you go. But before we do, just so I don't forget this time, we'll get our bots in. Barrier up. God, okay. Alright, there we go. Start wailing in. Done, done. Alright, Dwarven Mechanoid is really going all out. There you go. Feel that. Okay, we're really crushing the enemies now. I guess we'll see how far we get. Okay, so far so good. Alright, Nether Brutes is... So far so good. Okay, we got that done. Deal with the Nether and Slashers. Barrier up, just to be safe. Alright, Dwarven Battle Turrets are next. Oh god. Netherim Warriors are not fun sites. Alright, now for that one. Shouldn't be too hard to deal with. There we go. Okay. Your pet is 
Okay, Nether, Nether and Swarmers are easy to deal with. Oh god, Barrier you're up. Just to be safe. Now we deal with the tentacles of guarding this chest. We get a segmented breastplate. It's alright. Okay. We are really a lot. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's bury her up once again. Okay, summon a unit to uh, block. There we go. Another turret. Alright, nice. That is a lot of tendrils, I must admit. Jeez. <laughs> that is a lot. Like, an excessive amount of enemies. Alright, well, regardless, we keep going and we'll just see how things turn out. Alright, with that, I'm gonna take a moment to check something real quick. Alright, there we go. Barrier up and let's see how far we get. <laughs> Alright. Oh god, a uh, spellbreaker. Eh, it's, it wasn't that bad, actually. Never mind. I thought it was going to be even more dangerous, but nope. Nope. Not really. Okay, let's go up here. Uh, nothing so far. Yep, nothing. Oh, let's bury her up. This is going to save our butts. Okay, let's deal with the nether roots here. Yeah, there we go. So far, so good. Now we just spam the attacks here on the dwarven neck, and it's gonna slowly but surely dismantle. There we go. Done and done. Alright, let's get a turret or golem. Burst through here, deal with the woven battle turrets. Yeah, no, this. The dangers are scaling slowly but surely. <laughs> we should be fine, though. We should be fine. Alright. I mean, I suppose, worst case, I could, uh. Always. Oh, hold on. Barrier. Worst case, I could always level uh, back somewhere else. But, so far, so good. We haven't had a uh, issue yet. There is always the instance of dying, but, I mean, it's so negligible that I'm really feeling fine. Uh, you, however, are going to be a pain in the butt, so... Yeah, let's get ready with that. Get a turret. Barrier up. Alright, caster. Alright, he is haunted, but he is going to be a pain if I leave him alone for too long, so I need to go and hunt him down. Okay. There we go. Nice. Just barely managed to squeak that in. Just had to really uh, focus him down, otherwise uh, he would have taken me out. Barrier up. I'll be honest, the barrier was a good choice, I must admit. Having the ability to block attacks with such a uh, significant shield is really paying off. Yeah, it's been giving me a uh, a lot of damage absorption. That alone has uh, saved me uh, 
a lot of damage. Oh god. Gate barrier. Beyond the eye. Okay, that's a, uh, it's a boss, to say the least. Okay, let's uh, go with six. Summon a uh, unit here. There we go. Barrier up. Okay, let's just bam him. There we go. Oh god, barrier. Thankfully, Beyond the Eye is uh, easy to take out. Arguably easier, even. Anybody else here? Thankfully not. And we get a nice assortment of items, and that is our inventory full. But I will still go until I find a uh, item. So I'm gonna shift up here, barrier up just to be safe. There we are. Yep, pack is full. And let's just throw down a portal here, and let's go back to the mine head. Sell all of our, uh, well, goods, and we'll go from there. Let's see, weapon expertise. Uh, good for claws, swords, axes, maces, and pole arms. As of right now, we currently don't need it ourselves, but yeah, no, I can see us, uh, Give it to somebody else. Uh, let's sell everything that we don't need. As far as I'm concerned, everything here can go. And we've actually made a significant profit. I don't need these. I don't need this. This can go. That can go. Reduction of damage on electricity specifically. I'm going to sell this for now. Because uh, if it were an all damage uh, reduction, then yeah, I'd probably grab it. But other than that, no. Uh, let's see, what else we got here? Nothing that really sticks out. Okay. Uh, I guess this would be ideal for our pet currently. Yeah, currently our pet has what? For spells. Weapon Expertise rank 2. Alright. Yeah, no, we're gonna buy this for our pets. We are actually gonna sell Frost and Rumble. Yeah, let's sell Rumble. We don't need that. Alright, pets, we are going to get rid of your... Yeah, let's get rid of your weapon expertise. And let's give you this. There we go. That is a 16% as opposed to an 8% boost to your damage. So our pet's going to be dealing more damage. That's good. Uh, we are going to need electricity resistance, so I think I might just buy this. Yeah, let's buy the Spark Ember. It's going to help with our resistances, so... Might as well. I will put it on our Superior Dwarven Helm, I suppose. There we go. Get some electricity resistance that we so desperately needed. Uh, do we need a gamble? Not really. I can get rid of the Ice Ember, though. Uh, before that, let's see if we can enchant this. We can. Do I want to, though? I'm gonna say... yes. Alright, let's see. What do we get? We get an additional 15 knockback. Not as good as I had hoped, but it'll have to do. Uh, what I will do is go over to the gem, the gem dudes here. And I will... Destroy gems in a socketed item. We're going to destroy the Ice Ember. Alright. 
And we're gonna throw on the boost here. All right, yeah, no, that's an arguably significant weapon damage boost. Okay, so I was right to uh, get the Iron Ember in there. All right, cool. So that's set up now. Uh, we can put two other gems in there, but we don't have the money to procure them, so that sucks. But I can't really do much about it, so I will just put this axe there. Is there anything in the stash here? Uh, there is this, which gives a melee weapon damage bonus and a minus 54 to all armor per hit. But I think I'm going to stick with the Iron Ember. This would be good later on, but for now... Yeah, let's take these out of the shared stash for now. Okay, let's put these in. Okay, yeah, we're probably gonna recycle those into a new gem, but I digress. Uh, is there anything else I can do? I guess I can sell my old potions, because I don't need those. Uh, let's see, let's sell that. Put this here, put this here. And I guess we'll go over to Hess here. And I guess we're buying some potions, and maybe some Identify Scrolls, actually. Let's buy five, and then we'll just get some more mana. And there we go. We're down to nine gold, but that's fine. Alright! War 7, Broken Mines, here we go. All right, damage has significantly increased. We're dealing over, but we're dealing a lot of damage, I would imagine. And yeah, let's just keep going. We are now at the area of the Netherlord, which I predicted would be the case. All right. Summon our units here. All right, well. This is going to be our final statistics here. We've got 190 strength. And this is going into the final boss here. Hello. Let's hope we can handle this. Oh, this is a uh, boss fight and a half area. Oh, hello. Alright, let's have you consume that, my pets. Barrier up. Alright. Alright, it seems like our damage is significant enough that it's going to make a uh, significant impact. So far, so good. Yeah, no, we're really doing a number on him. Okay. Alright, nice. So far, so good. The uh, side units are going to be a nuisance, but thankfully the damage output should outweigh the uh, concerns. Yeah, because we're dealing crits that are over 5,000 damage. Which is absurd, to say the least. Okay. Alright, somehow we're managing there. up again. Okay, so far so good. My god, okay. We're really, we're actually nearly, we actually nearly killed him. 
We just need to make sure we got a distraction going on every now and again. Okay, let's barrier up just to be safe. Alright, summon another turret. There we go. Get some more damage going. Alright, we're almost there. In fact, yeah, no, we're re we actually, yeah, no, that's the first stage. Okay. Ow. Okay. He's manifested into his second form. Okay. Let's barrier up just to be safe. Oh, God. That is a barrage and a half, and that is a lot I have to deal with. Jeez. Okay. It's a good thing I have so many health pot. This would be hellish if not for the case of that. Okay, barrier up. a good distraction. Okay. Oh god. Heal up. Barrier. Yeah, no, it's, it's a good thing I've got healing. Oh god. Barrier. Okay, just... Casually walk through that. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's a lot. Jeez. Okay. Okay, barrier. Come on. Okay, uh, attack there. We need to make sure we're not getting hit. Okay. Eh. Thankfully, the barrier's coming in clutch. Else, I'd be in a uh, right pickle. Eh. Oh god. Okay, that's missiles. Don't want to get touched by those. Barrier up. Oh god, okay. Avoid the missiles. There we go. Okay. So far, so good. We've probably got another phase after this one. Barrier up. All right, God, what a hell of a fight, though. <laughs> okay, avoid that. Now we got these. The barrier. Okay. Thankfully, we're doing well and not perishing. All right, let's get another turret. Barrier. <laughs> okay. So far, so good. There we go. Let's have another golem here. Alright. 
slowly just let these guys funnel in. Alright, barrier. And we just wander across. Alright, so far so good. At least we're making progress here. Barrier. Alright, what are you gonna do? You are going to roar, okay. Okay, there we go. Barrier. Alright, so far so good. Almost done. Oh, one second. back. Apologies for that. <laughs> oh god. That could have gotten really bad. Okay. Alright. Let's back up. Barrier. Alright. Summon a turret. Oh god. Okay. So everything's at my level, huh? barrier just to be safe. Alright. Thankfully, uh, really, uh, doing a number on this guy, even though, uh, it could get way worse. Ow. Heal barrier. Alright, nearly there. Just gotta deal with the last tidbit here. Okay. Yeah, no, he's charging. Okay, barrier. Shouldn't be too hard to deal with the guy. And hey, we've beaten them. <laughs> uh, those beeps just indicate a bunch of achievements basically coming in. And with that, we've basically got all this. Alright, and we're left with, let's see, uh, if we put this into our armor, we get slow resistance. Uh, if we get our weapon, we get a raised shadowling on kill. As for gear, we get a rare shoulder piece, which requires level 60, but it gives us 100 armor, 23 dexterity, and 4% ranged weapon damage bonus, which is actually going to be our next piece of armor that I think we're gonna equip. As for the Messier's shields, we don't use shields, but it's still worth noting that we would get a ton of armor if we were to use it. But otherwise, just a bunch of, uh, just a bunch of good loot. And yeah, with that, let's clear out the area a little bit. Admire the sword on the boss a little bit, because that's actually pretty nice. <laughs> Let's admire the area. Yeah, no, that, that's lovely. Okay. Let's go into the clockwork core now. And with that... The clockwork core has protected the world from the Netherim for longer than even the Guardians can remember. As the core wound down, the Netherim slipped through. They brought destruction to the races of the world. They subjugated the powerful and concealed themselves well, awaiting the time when they could hold one true hero. One capable of destroying the clockwork core and throwing wide the gate between worlds. Yet they did not foresee that another hero would arise to stand against.
against them and seal the Netherim in their ethereal prison once more. All right, and with that, that's basically, uh, I like to think, the ending. Although, I guess we will see if that is true. Hello, Guardian of Mana. Alright, we get a choice between the Stronghold of Dreams, we get a f we can choose a Forge Crafted Helm. Uh, there is the Forge Crafted Tunic, Black Fang Bludgeon, or we could go for the Old Iron Gob. But we already got one, so we don't need another. Uh, out of everything? It's a toss-up between the Forge Crafted Helm and the Forge Crafted Tunic. Because both pieces would uh, aid in uh, giving us damage reduction. Uh, right now, out of everything, I'm going to go with the Forge Crafted Helm because this is going to bolster up our physical armor significantly. It'll give us some electricity resistance, a ton of boost to poison armor, and it'll give us fire damage. As opposed to this one, which would... Uh, do a little bit more of the fire damage. It'd give us vitality and some health, but yeah. I much prefer this over the uh, other helm, but I digress. Your fame has increased. All right, well, with that, there's only one other quest here, or a few. We can either retrace our steps with all the knowledge I currently possess, uh, you can navigate to all sorts of wondrous places, many fine ventures surely wait you with. Then. Or we could go for the endless adventure. But otherwise, it's basically the end game. If we want, we can either go start the game over again with all of our new gear in, in tow, which could yield some interesting results, but yeah, it's not that big a concern. But yeah, no, that's basically the end game. And honestly, I think I'm gonna probably put a cork on Torchlight 2 because of this. But I digress. We've managed to beat the game, ultimately, in the end. We managed to do it on the hardest difficulty, no less, which is kind of surprising to myself, but hey, I can't complain. We did it, and I'm quite satisfied with that outcome. As far as I'm aware, the only benefits that we will get if we continue the game is if, well, is we go back to the beginning with uh, Felicia's request, or we go with Redo as a mapper here, and we just going go into an endless dungeon. So there isn't really much else beyond that. It, there's no real ending to the game, much like Torchlight 1. There's just a simple cutscene as to how the game ends, and yeah. I guess that's it, really. There isn't really much else to say. We beat the game, and yeah. We did quite well, I'd like to think. As for what Marcus does, well, I don't know. We'll see where he ends up soon, in some other game, some other time. Who knows? Maybe we'll do another Steve and Marcus situation sometime soon, but we'll have to see. But, but I digress. I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. I know I did. And I will see you guys in the next series I play. Take care, everybody, and have a good day. Oh god, what have I done? <laughs> Okay, yeah, no, take care. You guys you guys you guys have a good one. <laughs>